Games. Okay. It's about games. Wait! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bears. I'm Edwina. I'm Hannah. Like and subscribe our yeah. videos if you think that we are proposing value to you. Uh, today we are talking about games you can play with your host children. You definitely need to have a sense of creativity as an au pair, oh otherwise you're gonna have a terrible time. Keep them occupied with games. Because maybe they're not so obvious to everyone, we'll start out with the obvious ones and then grow from there okay. and see how many we can come up with. Hide and seek, number one. Best game ever, especially if there's a big cupboard somewhere that you can hide in and sit on your phone and text. Tag, but like when I was indoors, I would play freeze tag so that it wasn't too crazy and we weren't running around everywhere. But when I needed to get my exercise in, this was not too bad. And my parents had a really big apartment to run in. We used to play football in the big hall my host parents used to have, actually. But like, like soccer. It was, depends on your host family, but that was a great place to kick a ball around mm -hmm. because it wasn't going to break anything. It's, you could do musical chairs, oh, yeah. you could play dance games. Yep. freeze dance like put the radio on and then shut it off and then they have mm -hmm. to freeze there's also ball games which i used to love playing with my host kids like a softball and just throwing that around or my favorite ever was getting a balloon and if it you're not allowed to let it touch the ground mm, that's a good one the next challenge is coming up with some educational more educational games or especially games where you can teach them english if you can get them to sit down long enough board games can sometimes be fun card games with english on them with you if you can get them to card, enjoy bring card games with english on yeah. them that like saves your time or even having props where you'd be like, what is this? What is this? What is yeah. this? Doing memory with the cards and like having a match game or magic tricks. It doesn't even have to be a specific, beautiful English tailored card game. It can be just a deck of traditional cards. And there are tons of games you can make on the spot or find online. I was also always impressed by au pairs who came up with creative, crafty things to do with their host kids, like painting if you're allowed to paint with your kid, or drawing. And for instance, the au pair after me, uh, with my second host family, came up with this idea of getting a huge roll of wallpaper and then together they drew a whole story across this huge long piece of paper. Yeah. My kids loved board games and luckily really? we had tons of those in our house so we played those a lot and kids like kind of playing the same thing over and over and over again yeah so once you found one you've struck gold <laughs> one of my host kids used to have a huge soft inflatable ball that we would literally just throw around constantly and it would keep him amused and because it was so light i'd be able to be like cooking or doing other things and be able to just hit it away because it wasn't like a danger that it would break something if your host parents let you use the kitchen Having your host kids participate in like cooking dinner with you and giving them small tasks yeah. can be a fun way to incorporate them into your responsibilities while also keeping them entertained. Be yeah. like, measure the flour and can you, you want to make a cake? And then they, my kids just like knew how to make things. Yeah. And I don't know wow. how to bake or anything. So <laughs> I just be like, I'll watch. Yeah. And then I'll taste test. That would always <laughs> end up whenever I did that with flour, literally everywhere. Oh, so messy, but I don't. Don't care about cleaning up the kids if it means that I get to watch them entertain themselves for true, true. an hour or two. Yeah. If all else fails, make other au pair friends with kids or make or just make friends with their friends au pairs yeah. and have play dates all the time. All the time. And go to the park oh, all the time. The the yep. park is the best and the kids love the it the best so just go to the park yeah. we will link to some places maybe some mum blogs or parenting blogs that's all for now we hope you enjoyed these games please follow us on twitter at oparoparis and go to our website for more on www.oparoparis.com do you really type in www.com? <laughs> no <laughs> that's all for now ciao